Okay, here we go. Now we're going to do some new project, do some cool stuff. So let's go ahead and check out Miss Candido and let's see what she has on the bottom here. So we got a pretty good, one of the few relatively good shape rubber bottoms I have. Not necessarily perfect, but pretty, pretty darn good shape. This is probably the best shape one. That's why I still use it. And then uh, this one still has the metal bottom. So let's see what's under here. Oh, it's, oh, it's a flathead. Oh, what's this one? Oh, it is. We're going to have to pause and go get a flathead. There we go. I didn't know that these were little flatheads. Usually they're uh, Phillips or something. But let's take these babies out. Yeah. There we go. There's one. Wow. Let's do this other one here, too. Let's see what's under the... Uh, mystery plate. I can't exactly remember, but this one. This machine I did a long time ago. There we go. Let's see here. That would come out pretty easy somewhere. We'll just get in one of these. and Take it out. I, I might switch to the plastic bottom because I mean, people feel that's asbestos and it wouldn't shock me, but hey, she's looking pretty darn good. And it so is. all that's looking really good on this one. Let's see if we can hoist her up. Hey, that's one of my older wiring. Um, but it is the high temp wire, so it's pretty good. I, didn't, I use a little different connector nowadays, but these are all staying good. None of them are too uh, rickety. And um, it's not the cap. It has the three bolts so it wouldn't be that hard to take that baby off we just got to make sure we have a um, a gasket for it and a couple of gaskets if we do that so that may be our best solution and we may go you know this is probably the best metal plate I have in condition that's why I used it but this is always worrisome these days so I may go with a plastic bottom and then put the rubber part over it just to modernize because everyone worries about that and I don't know I've never heard a definitive but I'll go with that probably isn't the best stuff <laughs> I know I had one where that wore away and it was sparking because it was a redone and the uh, little prong went out too far but so that's pretty darn good so yeah that's what we're going to do with this one I think we'll um, we'll take the base off of this baby and redo it but then it's on there really good so I don't think it even eh, it moves a little so we're, we'll, we'll pull that off and then I never did get the lap of on there good this one didn't stick that great I used kind of a funky type of glue I was trying but it's it's all right yeah it's pretty good though actually so we'll probably be able to use this I'll clean off the back of it and we'll glue that on there in a much better fashion than this one was and that's gonna be good yeah so that's gonna be a good project i have some plans here this one has a nice um adapter so i'm we're going to do something a little different here and we're going to do one of my custom tops <laughs> it's going to be super super cool so god yeah everything's looking good if um yeah if that was tighter i might just leave it all together but and we may just pop this off anyway just to do the base a little better i did this one in um appliance white paint thinking it was going to be good but it was really one of the worst ones and it wore away really quick all around here like none of the others did but anyway that's how you live and learn and you try different things so yeah we're going to redo this and add something really nice on top and maybe an accent or something but that's going to be really really good and we've been oh there they go so what we've been doing is uh yeah, this weekend today we've been doing the the stark roast yeah <laughs> It was like 40 bucks for the, well, that's the local rate for 14 ounces. I know I go on. Why not make it 16, right? Just, anyhow, <laughs> everyone went chintzy at one point. Now it's the norm. But anyway, there we go. Machines heated up. And um, yeah, we're going to be big. We'll go ahead and um, we better pop a coffee out here while we're going. Let's see what happens. I got the um, new, that grinder. It's working pretty good. Let's just do a quick shot. Yeah, the cube build's working pretty good after the rebuild, so hopefully I won't jinx it here, but um, 
Yeah, you know, I've modified a few refills. I kind of made sure everything's in line so it's working good. And yeah, we're going to make a couple expressives with it. You tamp a little harder out here because of the angle than I would inside. But yeah, this one's going to work really good. And uh, we're going to hang out. It's just lightly cloudy, rainy afternoon. And, yeah, I was hanging out and having a good old time. Are you doing coffee? Mm -hmm. Are you You're on now. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Up we go. We have both machines in action. There we go. One down. The steaming done. Yeah, check that out. Pretty fun. One handed. Boom bot. Yeah, there we go again. See that? There you go. Look at that. It doesn't mess up your phone if you're so persnickety, but there we go. Now we got a nice copy of project going, and we had a nice little gummy bear for the afternoon, and here we go, it's kind of rainy. 